but the danger comes in when you take down the mask to eat. You know, makan time is always at the same time. So everyone <laughs> take off the mask at the same time and that's where you end, end up transmitting. Hello sahabat semuanya, welcome to Bincang Bincang. Hari ini saya bersama dengan sahabat saya sudah beberapa tahun kita kenal, dokter yang sudah tidak asing lagi di masa Covid pandemi, Dr. Leong Honam, spesialis penyakit menular di Rofi Klinik Mon Elizabeth Novina Hospital Singapura. Banyak sekali peraturan-peraturan di masa pandemi yang sudah tidak diberlakukan lagi. Misalnya dulu kita harus pakai masker kemana-mana, sekarang di Singapura dan di banyak negara lain kita tidak diharuskan memakai masker termasuk di dalam ruangan. Singapura Airlines sudah tidak mengharuskan penumpang memakai masker di pesawat sejak 29 Agustus 2022 minggu lalu. Apakah benar aman tidak memakai masker di pesawat? Kita tanyakan langsung pada ahlinya. Sebelumnya, perkenalkan saya Dr. Tony Setiobudi, spesialis bedah tulang di Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapura. Jangan lupa subscribe dan aktifkan lonceng notifikasinya. Saya akan bagikan banyak informasi kesehatan yang berguna bagi Anda semuanya. Dr. Leong, thank you so much for your time today. I know you are very busy, but is it really safe uh, not wearing a mask on a plane? What is your advice on this? Tony, thank you very much for having me on your channel. It is a great pleasure. I look at your channel, I look at your subscribers. I tell you, Tony is the best. Okay, so your question is, should we or should we not wear a mask on board the plane? The answer is, I would. It really depends on what you want to do. If you want to come over to Singapore and have a good time and not fall sick, I will wear a mask. Yeah. But if you are prepared to fall sick in Singapore, then don't wear a mask. So I, I'm going to travel soon. When I travel, I'm going on board the plane. I'm going on a holiday. I don't want to fall sick when I'm on holiday. So I'm yeah. going to wear a mask when I travel there. Even at the destination, I'll wear a mask. And when I come back home to Singapore, I will wear a mask too on board the flight. Because if I don't turn up for work, Tony will scold me. Okay. Uh, can I ask, we still need to wear masks on public transport such as buses and train. And to me, traveling on a plane is not much different from traveling on public transport. So it is crowded and small and close space. But why is there difference in policy about mask wearing in these two situations? Good question. The reason is on board the plane, they have a very good filtration service. It's called HEPA, H-E-P-A. In fact, the HEPA circulation in the airplane is exactly as what you have inside the operating theater. Yep. Very good, very clean. However, you can imagine that the ventilation is above your head. Okay? Which means if I am sitting here, my friend is sitting to me, next to me, and another person. My friend were to cough, they can still spread to each other. Yes. In fact, they've done studies. If you are seated here, three rows before and three rows after, you can still spread influenza virus. Right. Mind you, influenza virus can be controlled much easier than COVID. COVID spreads much better than influenza. So three rows before, three rows after, you are still in danger if someone takes down the mask and cough. Can I just ask you a hypothetical question? On a plane, if someone, let's say, 10 meters away, uh, more than three rows away, and coughs, and I'm not wearing a mask, what is the chance of me getting the bugs from the person, getting COVID, for example? it will be less than 1%. The chance will actually be quite low if you are more than 10 meters away. Yeah. But if it's just within the 6 meters, yes, the risk is much higher. Okay. What about if someone sitting next to me coughs, 
then what is the risk of me getting the bugs if I'm not wearing a mask? Very, very high. At least uh, in the region of 10 to 40%. Now, yeah. not everyone will get it depending on which day of the illness. The earlier the person is sick, when you catch it, the higher the risk. Is the person vaccinated? If it's vaccinated, the risk of transmission is lower. If the person's immunity is goya, then the transmission is higher. Okay. Same thing for yourself, if you're vaccinated or how strong you are and you determine the risk. So your advice is still wear a mask on the plane, even if we are not required to. Yes. You also mentioned just now about vaccination. Now that mask wearing is no longer mandatory, can you advise us on how to reduce the risk of catching any kind of infection on a plane, including COVID? You see, the way in which you can get infections on board the plane is usually by droplets. So if I were to wear a mask, I will be quite well protected. But the danger comes in when you take down the mask to eat. You know, makan time is always at the same time. So everyone <laughs> take off the mask at the same time and that's where you end up transmitting. So on board the plane to reduce down infection, I will wear a mask. And then when other people makan habis, then my turn, then I'll eat because the mask will go up. Okay. So that's the preferred way. Yep. But not everyone will wear a mask. Number okay. two, be very careful about the surface, the tables. So when I bought the plane, I'll get an alcohol for the on a piece of wet wipes. The moment I sit down, I'll clean the table, etc. Then we'll make sure that my corner is clean. That will be before my seat. But there's one more place on board the plane where it's super dangerous. And we yeah. can talk about that later. Can you tell us what it is? It's the toilet. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is there any difference wearing surgical mask, cloth mask, and N95 mask on the aeroplane? Okay. Good question. The cloth mask is the worst because the standard and the quality is different. The kind of lining they have is different. Unless you have one cloth mask fits your face, and you put in the N95 lining inside, then it's quite good. But otherwise, forget the cloth mask. Number two, a surgical mask is quite good, but make sure you get the thick ones. Some of them are fly by night. Mm. They are very, very thin. So get a good one, and remember to cover your nose and cover your chin. I like that very much. Yeah. The best will be an N95. There's also a KN94 in KN95. I like the KN series ones better because they are more comfortable. It's easier to wear. The N95 one is just very, very uncomfortable. And after about 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you want to take it down to breathe. Yeah. So my first choice would be the KN9495, followed by N95, followed by a surgical mask. And the last is actually a cloth mask. From talking to you today, my conclusion is we need to get ourselves vaccinated. We need to get ourselves the booster vaccination. We need to maintain personal hygiene everywhere, including on board the aeroplane. And we need to wear masks to protect ourselves. And of all those masks, N95, KN95 is the best to protect ourselves. Thank you yes. so much, Dr. Leong Honam, for sharing valuable information to us. We are learning something new every day. Saya juga berterima kasih kepada para pemirsa yang setia bersama kami di setiap waktu. Silahkan tulis komen dan pertanyaan di bawah ini. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, dan share video ini. Dan sampai jumpa di bincang-bincang berikutnya. Bye-bye.